So as you guys know that Pixel 8a's launch is right around the corner. While the Pixel 8a is gonna come in the next month, I thought it will be a good time to talk about the hidden tips, tricks and features of Google Pixel 7a. And that too in 2024. So without wasting anybody's time, let's first hit the intro. So there are lots of hidden tips, tricks and features in Google Pixel 7a and we're gonna talk about them one by one. So as you can see this is our Google Pixel 7a right here and first of all we're gonna talk about this cool little feature. So if you double tap the power button the camera will be open right away which is a pretty cool way to open a camera whenever you want to take a photo in a fast manner. So now let's come to our second tip which is to use the battery widget. So for that, first of all, tap and hold on the home screen, then tap on widgets, and here tap on the battery widget. And as you can see, just tap and hold it and put it on the home screen. And you can even change its dimension as well if you want. And this widget also tells you how long your phone's battery will last. And this widget is also helpful if you have Google Buds as well, as this widget not only shows your phone's battery, but will also show you the battery level of other accessories as well. So while we're talking about battery, let's now talk about adaptive battery and adaptive charging. So to enable them, first of all, go to settings, then go to battery. And here you'll see this option of adaptive charging. Just tap on it and just toggle this feature on of use adaptive charging. Now doing this will help you extend your battery's lifespan. As with this, your phone learns your charging routine and optimizes the battery according to that. And now for adaptive battery, just tap on the back button and here tap on battery saver. And here you'll see the option of adaptive battery. Just tap on this and just toggle on this option of use adaptive battery. Now doing this will also extend your battery's lifespan as this adaptive battery feature learns from your phone usage so that they can optimize how apps use your battery. So now we have talked about adaptive battery and adaptive charging but what about adaptive connectivity? So the main benefit of adaptive connectivity is that you don't have to switch manually between 4G and 5G network as this feature will do it automatically. So first of all go to settings then go to network and internet scroll down and tap on adaptive connectivity and here toggle this option on use adaptive connectivity so now depending on your network and your location you don't have to worry about whether you're using 5g net or 4g net as this feature will do it automatically okay so now let's talk about this cool little feature of screen attention so i'm sure this must have happened with you that you're using your phone and somebody calls you and while you're talking to them your phone's display automatically turns off after a while and while you can use the screen timeout feature and set it to 20 or 30 minutes but this screen attention feature prevents your screen from turning off even when you're looking at it. And this feature is used by the front camera of the phone to see if you're looking at the screen or not. So now let's talk about gesture based navigation on our Pixel 7a and other cool gestures as well. So as you know in Pixel 7a we get this default navigation mode which is pretty boring. So if you want to change this and use gesture based navigation mode only go to settings then go to display scroll down and tap on navigation mode and here you'll see two options currently it's selected to three button navigation as you can see but we're gonna choose gesture navigation so just select that and now we can use this cool gestures be it this or this or this or even going back and while we're here in the navigation mode if you just tap on the settings icon and you can see this option of click to search which if you remember is the new feature in the android 14 so to use it first of all toggle it on and then just tap and hold at the bottom of the screen and here you'll see this option of circle or tap anywhere to search and i'm gonna select circle to search for this video and as you can see i can search anything right through this and this feature is pretty amazing because you don't need to go anywhere to any other browser to search anything although while searching anything we always want our phone to be smooth and to make your phone even go smoother just follow this setting go to settings then again go to display scroll down and here you'll see this option of smooth display which basically raises the refresh rate of your phone from 60 hertz to 90 hertz so that your phone can be more smooth so toggling this setting on won't harm your phone and now if we'll compare from 60 hertz to 90 hertz you definitely can see the improvement and while we're on the smooth display if you look above you'll see this option of colors just tap on it and here you'll see two options natural and adaptive my preference is that you should definitely choose adaptive and as you can see the difference that it makes the photos more sharper and more crisper and of course the contrast is also increased and not just that the colors will also keep on changing a little bit according to your surrounding and that is why its name is adaptive colors and after you've changed your color setting to adaptive now scroll down and at the bottom you'll see this option of screen protector mode. So whenever you buy a new phone the first thing is to use a screen protector. And whenever we use a screen protector we can sometimes see decreased touch sensitivity on our phone. 
So if you're also facing this problem, then this setting is definitely helpful for you. So you don't have to do anything, just toggle this setting on. So the next trick up my sleeve is the live transcription and live caption feature. So if you click on the volume icon and here on the bottom you'll see the live caption feature. Just tap on it and as you can see captions appear when speech is detected. That means that live captions has been enabled and whenever the phone while on call will detect speech it will automatically transcribe what the person is saying. As you can see while on call we can see this use live caption for calls and the captions of what the other person says will appear here. So just tap on caption call and you can also change the settings as well. If the person is speaking in English then choose English. If the person talks in Hindi then of course you have to choose Hindi. And notice that you can add other languages as well which is pretty amazing. So what's your plan of today? I think we should meet in Goa. Okay, so the next step is to use the auto rotate screen. Now you might be considering that so basic until you toggle on the face detection feature. So to enable that, go to settings, then scroll down and go to display. Then scroll down again and tap on auto rotate screen. And once you tap it, you'll see this option of face detection. Just toggle this on. Now face detection feature will use the front facing camera so that it can improve the auto rotate accuracy. Which basically means that if you tilt your head to the left or right side, the screen will be as it is. But if you don't move the face and only the screen, your phone is gonna auto rotate the screen. Okay, so this last trick is my favorite one and that's why I kept it till the end. Which is that you can copy any type of text directly from the recents menu. So to do that, first of all go to the recents menu and let's say if you've opened Instagram and want to copy the caption. So you can do that directly from here. You don't need to go to the app. Just tap on it and hold and just select the text which you want to copy and once you've selected it you'll see these three options just tap on copy and your text is copied now you can paste it anywhere and notice that if you want to save any image that you have searched on chrome and you want to save it right here on the recents menu just go to the chrome tab and once this option appears just tap on it tap on more and you can save to files just by tapping on it and boom it's done and not just that you can tap on this link icon right here to copy this link just tap on it and here just tap on copy and now the link is copied you can paste it anywhere so let me paste it to the notes so as you can see i have copied the link however the link is too big so these were some of the best google pixel 7 a tips tricks and hidden features that i felt i should share with you guys in 2024 now it's your job to let me know in the comment section that which trick you like the most and of course with that don't forget to subscribe to geekify and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, keep enjoying your life.